Today, we got a classic cook-off challenge, and I'm in the mood for some euros. Oh. Oh. All right, on team one, we got Justin and Ali. Let's on team go. two, we got Jordan and Kamal. Let's go talk to the teams. What's your guys' plan of attack today? Normally, I have a plan ready and set to go, but for me personally, I've never made a euro in my life, so I don't have any idea of what I'm gonna do, so I'm gonna put all the eggs in Ali's basket. Ali, right. you gotta take over. <laughs> okay, so for one, once, I gotta be the lead and actually, you know, come up with something spectacular and no better thing than euros. So some people say euros, some people say gyros, some people say gyros. Let's get that cleared off from the okay. beginning. It is euros originated from Greece and is very popular in Turkey and all over the Middle East. And today the game plan is to make you a San Diego style euro. Jordan, come on. My family has over six restaurants that specialize and make euros. Ranging wow. from Nebraska, California, oh. and Texas. Oh, my standards wow. are super high. What do you guys have in store for me? So you're basically telling me you're like the Gordon Ramsay of Euros. I've had a lot of Euros in my life. Kamal's gonna take the lead here. All right, Kamal loves a good Euro. You see, I do love a good Euro, but this is very concerning because I am taking the lead. Lucky for me, I have the grill master, Jordan himself. You know, I do. He's known to grill a lot of meat. Mm -hmm. I think honestly with our style, I've yeah. seen Romo eat a Euro, I've yeah. seen him make a Euro. I'm pretty confident. I'm confident, and what gives me the most confidence is that Jay's not taking the lead. Ali's taking the lead, and that don't know how to cook. All right, I'm gonna keep it a buck. He don't know how to those cook. Are, those are some shots fired. I'm just saying, cause you see them, every time he's on a team, it's either Romel's carrying, somebody else is carrying. Ali can't cook like that. All right, so since Ali and Kamal are taking the lead today, they're gonna be the ones cutting the year up. Oh, I didn't Stay think about that. that. All right, so behind me, I have a bunch of ingredients that you guys could use to make your euros. And also, you guys could use anything in the store, but today, we have one banned item. In this cooler behind me, we have tzatziki sauce. You can't use that. You're gonna have to make your own tzatziki sauce. Wow. So it's fair game. So on three, two, two one, go. Get me ah! Ah! Okay, Damn. we need yogurt. I know yogurt. yogurt is in tzatziki sauce. Yes, yes. So this is key. Nah, you need whatever this is. Whatever that is. We'll That's not that. good, but okay. we need this right here. We need some butter for sure. Yes, nah, we're well, we put feta. a pot of butter right here. Make. Listen guys, I have a secret. I have a secret. What's the secret, Ollie? Uh, earlier I said we're doing a San Diego twist, right? Okay. And in San Diego we have a large Hispanic community, correct? Correct. So, we're gonna be adding some good hot sauce <laughs> okay. right here to ours. Nice and spicy and you think I'm just doing this to do this. When you add this type of hot sauce to the Euro and mix uh -huh. it, it takes it to the next level. So Romel is in for a treat. He don't even like spicy like that, bro. You don't know Romel, he can't handle that. No, he can handle it. You know what we're gonna do today? We're gonna do a California Euro. It consists of three steps. California, you, you know what? California, uh, I can't San Diego. Yeah. No, that's they're fine. copying us from California Euro. I just I said San Diego. San Diego. No, they're copying us, bro. Uh, Ali, <laughs> yes. I told you I'm gonna let you take the wheel. So I'm just chilling, eating my twigs. I don't know how to make the Euro sandwich, so this is all you. Yeah, it is all me, but there's a dilemma now. I just realized it, and uh, here's where you're gonna have to come in and help me now. What? Um, so prior to us starting the challenge, uh -huh. I had no idea that we were gonna be bombarded with such emphatic news from Armel regarding making tzatziki sauce, and that I do not know how to do, so I'm gonna need your help, or we're gonna have to collaborate and make that together. Okay. The rest, I'll take over, but just the tzatziki sauce didn't help on. Okay, so for tzatziki sauce, you've been eating that your whole entire life, right? Correct, correct. So what do you think it tastes like? Like, what do you think is in there? It depends. Your, your taste buds. Some, some places have a sour cream vibe, some places have a yogurt vibe. Okay. But from the ingredients I see here, I see Ramel left us with yogurt, so we should probably go with like a yogurt base. Add some salt. Add some salt and uh, maybe some pepper and mix it around. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll figure it out as we go, but uh, look at these guys behind me. They, they look like they're sleeping. What's going on here? Well, they f***ed up. They don't even know how to make tzatziki, bro. I've been making this shit since I was a kid. <laughs> try this shit, come on. Oh, you want me to try it? Yes. Because I don't know what it is. <laughs> there's, 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 there's no sour cream. cream. Sour cream. Are you sure? 100%. Safi sad? Safi sad. You oh. add that with the moss. With the, oh, sh we got moss. You know what, we're gonna throw it back. Middle Eastern style, we're gonna add some cucumbers in there. Damn. Chop it up, salt, pepper. Wow, you talking about throwing it we back. We might give him an Afghan Euro. You talking Kandahar. Kandahar Euro. Oh, wow. You know what? This is gonna be a bomb yawn Euro. Wow. We hitting that bomb yawn sh All right, you know, we, we, we about to whip this sh up today. All right, so right now we are whipping up the sauce. But you know the difference between the sauce and the juice? 
What's the difference? Like, let's say somebody is like, oh, he got the sauce. Okay. What's that mean? He has the sauce then. Versus like, oh, he got the juice. I feel like if you got the juice, you don't have the sauce. You don't got the sauce. So the juice is like temporary, you know what I'm saying? But sauce, you leave forever. sauce in the fridge, sauce is forever. <laughs> so we about to make the sauce. Um, I, I appreciate what you just said about the sauce being forever. Yeah. Did you get that from that, like, uh, <laughs> you got it from that Instagram reel from the guy at Best Buy? Bro, yes. I swear yeah. to God, okay. that <laughs> hit me. Do you know what I'm talking about? No, hey, yo, the sauce is forever. forever. I'm gonna let you do your There's thing. There's a big difference. I just, uh, I just <laughs> got the sauce. This <laughs> moment, and we about to make the sauce right now. Now we're gonna go in with the yogurt, AKA moss. But I can't scoop this in with this. That's cross contaminating. So just no, right more. now, we need more moss. You need more moss. Yeah, 100%. We need more moss, and we ain't talking brandy. It's gonna be a TD right here. To be honest, we're done. No, 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 no. No, for <laughs> real. No, we're done. Honestly, I want to say tzatziki is one of those things where you don't really have to follow the rules. It's like whatever you feel in your heart. Taste Should it. we change it up? As, yeah. Should we add some sriracha to this too? Sriracha gang. I think there's some sriracha right there. You know what? Give me that pat. A little paprika. Oh, wow. To be honest, I don't know if that's sriracha, but Chip. Is that sriracha? Is that, is that, that, that is sriracha? sriracha. Okay. okay. Hey, you know what that is? That's that juice. That was oh, looking oh, like oh, the oh, juice. juice. That didn't look like forever, bro. Okay, I like it. I want to say that's done, bro. Yeah, give it, a, give it a lick. See how it is. Yeah. Yeah, bro. Uh, we got to fix it. <laughs> We gotta fix it, bro. Actually, ours is a little, it's a little too thick. We gotta, we gotta water it down. Yeah, yeah, it's a little too thick. No, that's not watered down. That's yeah, the thickness from the sour cream is fat. No, right? we need water. We need the water. Yeah, in there. you gonna go water? No, you're not gonna water. We need water. Need water in there. Oh, oh wow. Wow. Really sick. Like a little bit of water. There's no way to Oh, because it's too no, thick. No, it's water. way too stop, thick. Stop. Don't do water. Oh, no, you need to not the water. My champ. Listen. You need to hydrate. We gotta, listen, we got to talk about this. Let's get the other team first. I think it's time for myself and Justin to start displaying a masterpiece. You know, for once, usually uh, when I'm doing cooking, you know, everyone feels sorry for me. But for once, I feel sorry for Kamal and Jordan because they have no clue what they're doing. But Justin, have no fear. Chef Ali is here. Here. Uh, I just want to say one thing before we start. So for most of the time I do the cooking, yes. Ali, he doesn't really know how to cook too well. But I will say, I am confident in this guy's Euro sandwich. This guy is a Euro sandwich connoisseur. I believe in him and I have full faith in you that you're going to accomplish big things in life. Wow, and, wow, we're getting deep right here. Oh, wow. And in this Euro sandwich. Thank you, thank oh, you. Wow. I almost shed a tear, but with that being said, earlier I told you I'm gonna need your help to help with the uh, tzatziki sauce, right? Okay, what do you need me to do right now? I actually don't even need the help anymore. I want you to relax, but just come here while I show you how to do it. Okay. I just oh. want you to relax. Oh, 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 oh just hit like he knows like all oh, oh, of them oh, oh, okay so they're making juice and yeah. you're about to make the sauce right yeah now. i'm about to make the sauce after i saw jordan grab water i knew he was about the juice and not about the sauce but hey we're gonna make the sauce okay what's okay. the first ingredient we need first thing we need okay we need a spoon wow a spoon okay Ramel, we have spoons in your restaurant uh, let me go grab all right, now we got a spoon. We're gonna grab the sour cream right here. A hefty amount. This is like gonna be probably good enough. All right, we're gonna add a little bit of salt to this. Salt, all right, where's the salt? The salt, I should be right there. We're gonna add some salt right here, right? I'm pretty sure pepper goes in there as well, you right? You can put a little pepper, yeah, of okay. course, that's fine. You know, that's fine. It's not gonna really affect it too much, okay? okay? So, there's a certain ingredient you need to add to this to take it to the next level. We're gonna grab some Chutney. That's cheating. So the it chutney, is. chutney is, it is a green spicy sauce with cilantro, vinegar, and green spices. And we're gonna throw that in here and mix it around and that's gonna give it a nice little kick and a proper tzatziki feel. So Jordan wasn't completely off earlier when he said it needed a little liquid. Peanut I water. told you it needed water. Okay, so the chutney gives it a little bit more flavor, right? More flavor, a little bit okay. more of a kick. Okay, okay. that looks like tzatziki sauce. Yeah, see? Oh, that's what the green stuff yeah. was in their sauce. Well, well, hey, that's what we're doing. Don't copy us, Kamal and Jordan. This right here, he's talking about copying, right? This is that classic case of like, oh, you're in school, you're copying somebody's test, but it's the wrong 
because they're wrong. All right, if I copied this test, I would fail. That's all I'm saying. Look, look at how wrong. wrong. That's a little wrong, a dog. Little wrong, Come on, you know, they're, they're on a decent path. I think you learned a couple things from them, but you guys can make this sauce. We could. You, you can make it happen. All right, I need come on. I need come on. Ace, come on. We gotta figure this out, bro. We need to figure out these simple steps to make the sauciest sauce. That was our next step. We need to add salt, pepper, and chutney in there. That's a liquid we're missing. Nah, chutney's wrong. Okay, oh, yes. you guys are copying us again? This is copyright infringement. Do you know what copyright infringement is? I don't know, but I've heard it, and that's what you guys okay, are about to get. Okay, okay I want to add one more ingredient. I know this is the traditional way, but I want to add a couple scoops of fresh garlic. Yes, oh. go ahead, but not too much. We don't want it to be overpowered, but a little garlic is okay. a good, good step in the right direction. Oh, that's a sauce. Oh, ew. Hey, the eyes, they never lie, Chico. And you know what I said? Damn, that's so good. These guys want the garlic as well. They seen us put the garlic in there, so here you guys go. Yeah, go They're literally ahead. copying us from head to toe. It's okay, you know, they can they can try to copy, but they'll never be the original. You know, we're Michael Jordan. You know, they're like LeBron James coming in later, trying to be, I would love to be a Michael Jordan. Yeah, yeah. No, no, no. LeBron James more better. No, no, no. LeBron James is more no, better. better. Michael is the, the, the original. I got a better comparison. What? So we're the Michael Jordan. They're the Smush Parker. Oh, wow. They got that wow. sauce. They got that juice. Hey. Hey, no, one, wow, time, wow. one time Kobe and Smush Parker together, they combined for 82 points. <laughs> oh What's yeah. Up? That's a lot of points. <laughs> I want you to look at Kamal's technique with the taste. <laughs> now do it. Exactly how you do it. Because Kamal has a very refined palate. This is when you know you're like look an it, old Afghan. Yeah. <laughs> oh my taste this is shit. But go ahead, go ahead. <laughs> it's this right here. Tongue. <laughs> I like that. That's how you know you're good. But you know what they didn't there. add, so it's not quite there. And what they f***ed up on, big time. Water. Uh, don't you, don't you need a little. Hole, like. There's like a little, bro. Look, look, look. Oh! oh. Now we drip it. This sauce right here, perfect. After I added the water and the Kamal taste. Don't forget it. Tastes like juice. Woo! Oh, that right there is tzatziki. I've ever had it, bro. Tzatziki? Tzatziki, taz tarzan. It don't matter what it is. Like I said earlier, sauce is from the heart. Sauce is forever. Hey, this guy. How are you gonna make some? Try to make sauce when they made a juice. Hold on, hold on. Check this out. That's so awesome. this guy, he made tzatziki sauce. Yeah. What did we make? We made tzatziki sauce. Tzatziki sauce. Yes. Oh. And also, we're making gyros. This guy's making gyros. Yeah. He's not even making gyros. It's gyros. This guy's making gyros. Man. I said this shit earlier, and I got a hard line right here. I've been waiting for. Real G's move in silence like gyros. Oh! Those are you like that? You like bars. that? That was from Lil Wayne. He said real G's move in silence like lasagna, but I had to change it up. Hey, Euro. He said real G's move in silence, but this guy's doing a lot of talking right now. Oh, <laughs> oh wow. All I'm gonna say is. Wow. Hey. 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 Calmate, hermano. Calmate. Cállate. Cállate. No. Cállate, también calmate. Cállate is shut up. Calmate is calm down. Ooh, but I'm not actually telling you to shut up because I love you. I'm just, you know, it's just a reference. I, I love you. I'm not literally telling you that, but I'm just, because you just said the silence. I love you too. I love you too. You know, it's all love. You too. It's all love. But if I didn't love you, you know what I would tell you right now? Cállate la puta boca! Oh, so Kamal's been whipping up this tzatziki sauce and it's looking real good and okay. he said it's missing something. A little more heat. Jalapenos, we're gonna be jalapeno your business, but check this out. I'm not gonna throw the whole thing in. A little jalapeno essence. Like that. Wow. Wait, 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 let me look again. Just a little bit. Now, this is a secret technique they use in Greece. You massage a little and then Oh, there, that's a perfect. Oh, shit. Can we test it again? Game over. Test it again. Test it again. Right here. Cheers. 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 All right, so when it comes to euros, cutting the euro makes the ultimate difference. 
It's about creating a texture, something that's gonna be beautiful inside of that wrap. A lot of places spend thousands and thousands of dollars on Euro cutting machines, but guess what? I like it by hand. And today, since you guys are team captains, you're gonna be cutting. And since Kamal and Jordan were cheating off Ali sauce, Kamal's gonna cut first. Yeah! <laughs> All right, Kamal. All right, we're gonna be cutting through the lane like Giannis onto the cupel. <laughs> oh, that's, you know what that is? That's the Greek freak. But today we got the Afghan freak. Hey, I'm All gonna right. need some advice. How are we gonna cut this? I've never <laughs> cut in Euro before. It don't matter. I'll, Kamal, something about Kamal is he's surgical. The hard part is gonna start from the top. Dude, oh, you know what? I catch. There we go. It's like this. I don't know what we're doing here. Oh. Oh, does it stop? Does it does stop, stop turning? Is there a way we can fucking stop? <laughs> Oh, hey, wait, wait, wait. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Step Rebecca, yeah. no, 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 yeah. no, let him do it. No, 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 don't step in. Let him do it. Let him do what hey. they're gonna do. Hey, hey, hey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We gotta go from here. Let him do what they're gonna do. We gotta go from here. Because this is where it's cooked, right? Because this yeah. is so raw. Yeah. No, look. Oh, oh, chef. You want to get poisoned? You tell us now. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hold him up. Okay, let's go. So I like this brown area, but look. But it's still rotating. Are we allowed to cut it? Dog, look. Because if you read the lines right here, it's a map. It's a road. He didn't cut it like this. It has to stop turning, bro. We need to stop. This turning. So do we unplug it? No, nah, there's a button in here that says stop. Bro. Off, right here. Off. Which one? Right there. It's the off button. Just turn. Just flip it down. Oh, we're just gonna oh, pray and hope. Oh shit, this works. Oh, shit. oh yeah, this is. Damn, that's thick, bro. You don't want it thick. You want it? How do you want it? Chunky or thick? Then how do you want it? I just. It needs to be fully down though. That's all I care about. Oh, you want it more? Oh, you hold, you hold it. You hold, hold here. Hold here. No, we can't just hold yeah, there. Yeah, you hold there. Hey, uh, Ramel, is there like a is there a time limit? Uh, I'm just having fun watching them right now. It's actually a crazy experience. Kamal's cutting it, but he's holding it with his hands at the same time. It's crazy. I didn't wash my hands. I'm gonna be honest. That's what he needed. He needed a piece of it. Oh, okay. just to, you know what I'm saying? To realize what it is. Ramal, I need you to cut this for us, please. Bro, turn it off. So Ramal can cut this. Go. Oh. All right. So Kamal damaged up the euro. You still have a little bit left. Ali, it's your turn to cut the euro. Yeah, no problem. So we're gonna make this uh, really simple, really efficient. We're not gonna take six and a half hours like they did. We're just gonna establish dominance right away. We're gonna kind of like go like this. You see? Oh wow! Establishing dominance. You wow. see this? Okay. You see this? So what they're doing is like this little. No. There's the angle. You see that? Can I? Can I grab? Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. So you, I'll support your back. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna hold it like this. Okay. And then we're gonna go directly down like this in a, in a downward motion. Just like that. And it's gonna cut nice and smooth. Just like that. Wow. Down, okay? So we can, we, can, we can sit here for an hour and a half and cut the rest. Wow. So that's how you do it. Okay. Nice and efficient. Like you said, go here, establish dominance, and then come down. Just like that. Look at those thin slices. You know, we're not gonna show you the whole entire process. We wanted to give you a little. That's how you do it. What did I say in the beginning? I had so much faith in you. I knew you could do this. Yes. Ollie, you're killing it right now. We got it, we got this. But that's how you cut a euro. Now let's get the pita on the grill and let's make Ramel the greatest euro sandwich of all time. All right, so we got the freshly shaved euro right here. Kamal's gonna throw that on. First, we gotta throw the butter on that though. First though, we got choices, bro. You got oil right there, or we also got some butter, baby. I'm just gonna make, make it healthy. Ooh, that oh, oh, yeah. oh yeah, baby! Oh, 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 oh no! Oh, the oil, the oil, oil! Go, oh, butter, butter, butter! Ah! Right, so now it's time to put on the bread, the pita. But we're not just gonna do anything regular. I'm gonna put the butter on. Oh yeah! Bada bing, bada boom! Right? Throw the pita on. Let it, let that soak up. Let that heat up, baby. What is Romal's favorite fast food restaurant joint? Yako Yell, aka Taco Bell, baby. I insert the Taco Bell ding right now. Ding. Yup. Yeah, okay. So I'm gonna do a little cheesy gordita crunch. I'm gonna make a cheese crust for this pita bread, and we're just gonna soak that on. Oh, we. Okay, I'm gonna flip this shit. Wow. <laughs> And that is gonna be the outside of the euro. It is time to make the best euro of all time first. So the pita on the grill. You don't need any oil or anything else. Just the pita on the grill that's warmed up. Simple as that. We're gonna throw the euro on right here. Not too much like they did, but you know, a decent amount. So what we're gonna do here is a little something different. Like I said, we're gonna add a little California flavor to it. A little San Diego. So we're gonna add some hot sauce, some chili habanero. Not too much, we don't want it way too hot, but a little bit of a kick. Just a tad right there. 
Romel loves spicy. For those of you who do not know Romel, he loves a nice spicy meal. Not as spicy as Kamal, because Kamal, his spice tolerance is out of Oh, see, I, I can't even talk because of this thing. But next thing we're gonna add here, cayenne and crushed pepper right there. You see the cayenne? And crushed pepper. Give it a nice little kick. Boom, boom. Oh, oh that's spicy. Oh, shit. I got it. That's spicy. But it's gonna be good stuff. Woo! I'm gonna keep flipping it. Some good stuff. For right. Smoke is too thick. Here, some water. Thank you, please. As you can see, I am jeopardizing my health to make sure oh, Ramel has the best year of all time. Right there. That's, that's love. love. I just cough like oh, oh, 180 <laughs> times on camera. And we don't need oil for that? No, we don't need okay. oil for the euro because the euro is naturally super oily. So when you throw it on the grill, the oils will come out of it. If you add oil to the euro, it gets too greasy. You don't and want to do that. And on top of that, Romel is a new year. He's trying to watch his diet. He's yes. trying to watch his figure. I don't know what Kamal and Jordan did. They put a whole bunch of butter, yeah, oil, all they, that bad stuff they, on there. They don't care for Romel the way we do. But yeah, it's as simple as that. We're letting it all warm up here. Okay. And then right after that, we're going to go ahead and add a tzatziki sauce and a couple special ingredients. And we're going to give Vermel, the best hero of all time. All right, so for the first euro, we got Ali and Justin. Break down this euro. Wait, hold on, hold on. Before we break it down, I just want to say one thing. There's a reason why Romel is the chef today for this Euro sandwich. And do you guys know why he's the chef? Why is that? It's because he has the craziest advantage. You know why? Because he's never driven a Tesla. Wow! That is why he's the chef today. Okay. Because if he, if he was cooking, he would win automatically. Hands down. Right. Uh, because he never wanted Tesla, so that's why he's the judge. Uh, that's a good okay. one. That's coming up. Go okay, go ahead. But what what we, got? we got here, we got some organic house-made tzatziki sauce that myself and Justin put together. The euro is simple, yet it tells a story. We got the pita, we got the euro with a little chili habanero sauce to give it that San Diego feel. We added feta cheese and onions to keep it simple. Then have that fluff with the lettuce and tomatoes. You got the meat, feta cheese, sauce, onions, pita bread, perfection. And like I said, cayenne and crushed pepper as well. Go ahead, dig in, try the sauce, eat, enjoy, it's all for you. All right, so let's try it out. So I'm interested to see how the salsa is gonna taste inside the sandwich, just cause I've never had it before. I've never had a gyro like that, but let's start off with the sauce, of course. They had to make this from scratch, let's see. All right. Ah. The sauce is there. <laughs> it had a little taste after, maybe a little too acidic, but it's very, very close, very close. to the perfect sauce. One of my uh, favorite sayings is close, but no cigar. Look how beautiful this sandwich is. It looks spectacular. The meat is cooked to perfection. The way the onions are cut, the feta cheese, the sauce. Honestly, right now, this is like a, it's kind of like a proud dad moment. Ali did a great <laughs> job and Ali, I'm proud of you. I will tell you this, job. Ali, Ali thank you, bro. Thank performed you. his best he's ever done in a cook-off that I've seen personally, yes. but we still have to taste it. Yeah, taste it and let us know. I'll tell you, it doesn't look as bad as an Arby's. You're all right. So. <laughs> okay, that's a good sign. All right, let's put some sauce on oh, top. more sauce, wow. All right, really good. Let's go take the first bite. This is the Gordon Ramsay of the Fuzzins right here. This guy is the hardest critique. He will be honest. Look, look at the eyes, the eyes. They never lie, Chico. How is the it, eyes. Chico? That's a lot of meat, a lot of feta cheese. And you got some onions in there. Oh yeah. And it's actually a very good hero. <laughs> very simple, but very effective at the same time. Good job, Mijo. <laughs> Did you get a taste of the spiciness in there yet? I got a taste of the spiciness. It has a nice little kick. That's a standard euro. That, okay, standard euros are good, right? That's a standard euro. Very simple, but very good. One change I would have made, I would have both types of onions. Both types of onions. Ali's are both types of onions, and he didn't give me both types of onions. But this euro sandwich, very good. I'm excited to see what Jordan and Kamal have cooked up. So Jordan and Kamal, this doesn't look like a gyro that I'm usually familiar with. Because you 
are familiar with euros, like you said. I'm very familiar with them. And your family them. owns restaurants and you've had over a million, you've made over a million. So that's a blessing that has something new, something refreshing, something innovative. Is this something we're gonna add to the menu? It might be, and that's cool with me. All you gotta do is name it after me and Kamal. Ooh, what's the All name right? gonna be? What's the name, Kamal? Honestly, I named this a Roll Mouse sandwich. The Romal yeah. sandwich. Okay, oh, I like wow. it. I will name it. It's the a one of one type of sandwich. It yeah. is a one of one. I will name it Juice. <laughs> oh, 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 we can name it the Juice, oh, baby. Just Juice. That's we it. Not it. sauce. Oh, just oh, Juice. Oh, oh. Fire. Juice. Why don't you go ahead and try this out, baby? All right. So let's start off with the sauce. Break it down. What'd you guys put in here? You wanna go ahead and break it down? So break it down. We threw in a little moss, aka yogurt, yes. a little bit of the sour cream, salt, pepper, garlic, a little spicy from we Kamal. We do a little sriracha vibe, but also we threw in a little jalapeno essence. Alright. You forgot one more ingredient. Oh <laughs> Top secret ingredient. I'ma let y'all in. You guys saw it. Wow. Alright, we threw in that water. For all the water they put is not that. No, 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 no. no. That's you forever. That. Come on, that's, forever. that's forever. All right, that's that's forever. Forever. That's forever. All right. So let's taste it. Tastes like moss. I don't know if the essence did a little anything, but okay. Now let's go on to the euro. Break this down. This is this is nuts. This is a cheese crust. We got onions. We got one tomato in there. Just a little bit, baby. I know you don't. You're not the biggest fan. <laughs> I accidentally of fell in there, you know. <laughs> but the crust is what really stands apart from. So why All don't right. you go in there and really, bro, just really get into it. Keep chewing, take your time. How? Uh -huh. Take your time. <laughs> <laughs> That's different, huh? Ooh. That is a hard time. It is, oh, it is. Oh, wow. Oh. <laughs> this is something that I haven't talked about. Uh, yeah. 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 All right, let's try this one more time. For your gut health. Oh my god. Look <laughs> <laughs> at my mouth. Listen, we here for a good time, not a long time. Alright. Now in my whole entire life, I think I have a Euro Chalupa. Hey! Yo, cheesy Gordita Crunch. Yes. Cheesy Gordita Euro Crunch. Take another All bite. Right. Take another bite, go ahead. I don't know if I want to take another bite. Oh! I want to come all take a bite. Oh! oh he's on a diet! He's on a diet! He's on a diet! You gotta ask my coach. My no. coach, Kamal, if you take a bite, you want some extra points? <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh, 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 oh we got extra points! No. Oh, oh, he's on a diet! That's a tease! That was my <laughs> up. I on a diet! Up. And I'm saving his diet. He's about to give it all up. For a cooking challenge. <laughs> Alright. Oh, that being said, so let's go see who the real winner is today. Alright, so for the final decision, Justin and Ali made the classic Euro to perfection for the sauce. It was almost there. They almost nailed it. 100 percent Kamal and Jordan, they went innovative. They created something new, something I might even put on my menu, but Kamal did not know how to cut gyro, so the texture was just a little off, and that bite, it pissed me off. Oh, 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 Here's what I'm gonna take a bite. Oh, Don't oh, cheat oh. on your diet because of peer pressure from people like me. All right? Oh, no, 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 no. Never ever do that. It was a little foreplay, you know? I was trying to have some fun. So with, <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, all right. All right. So with that being said, the winner of today's challenge Go yeah! Yeah! Oh, there you go! Oh, yeah, I had faith in this guy! Holly, I knew you were able to do it! Woo! Good shit! Hey, I, finally I've been useful in one cooking challenge! Okay, I, I know what the secret was. This guy's never driven a Tesla. I I never driven a Tesla. never driven a Tesla! I think the secret was Ali was finally confident for once. Yes. Yeah, he was. He knew he what was to do. Confident and he prepared and made a bomb Euro sandwich. Something that I would eat on a daily basis. Congrats to you guys once again, Ali and Justin. Oh. You guys created a masterpiece. With that being said, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Make sure you guys hit that bell, be part of the notification squad. Make sure you follow us on all our socials. Links will be in the description below. We're the Fuzzins and we're out. Peace. Peace. Today, we're gonna make the best Euro sandwich. We got team one right over here. Oh, let me start that over. Welcome back to yeah. the Fuzzins. Today we have a classic cook-off challenge. Yeah. Welcome back to the Fuzzins, and today we got a classic cook-off challenge. And I'm in mood.
and I'm in the mood for some Euro sandwiches. So I don't have any idea what I'm gonna do, so I'm gonna put all the baskets in Ali's hands. All right, so I am honored to finally Wait, take- Wait, does that make sense? All the baskets in Ali's hands? <laughs> <laughs> That's a good point. I don't know. You said it with confidence. I know. Yeah, yeah, no, it's fine. <laughs> I don't think it is. All the huh? basket. Huh? All the put. Um, put all, all the, the marbles. Or yeah, marbles. Or all the eggs. All the eggs in one basket. <laughs> it is euros originated Euro. from. <clears throat> oh shit. Originated from. <laughs> oh shit. Hold on. <laughs> I was there. Was there ready? Originated from Greece and is very popular in Turkey and all of the. And <clears throat> all right, come sit with me. <laughs> I'm interested to see yes. how the salsa is gonna taste. Yeah, yeah, of course. The, it, it, so, the salsa in the sandwich, I mean. Yes, it does. Cool. You wanna see that for me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. With that being said, congrats one more time. You guys did an awesome <laughs> job. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. <laughs> wait, wait, how do you stop? All right. Give me one second. <laughs>